Hi, I'm Thomas and welcome to my recap of the Storm Luggelas Masters. In this video, I'm testing out a new microphone. So please let me know in the comments what you think of the sound in this video and please subscribe while you're there. So the recap, uh, Storm Luggelas Masters is one of the bigger tournaments in Europe in Helsingborg, Sweden. It's uh, at Patrick Bagges Bowling Center run by Martin Larsen, Lug Larsen himself and uh, Daniel Rundbeck and their team and they run a really good tournament, really, really nice tournament that also does a lot for charity. So a really cool tournament and uh, looking forward to, to more of those Lug Larsen tournaments. We bowled on a 43 foot pattern. A lot of guys were using urethane and that made it a little bit tricky where Either you struggled or you had something really good, so there were some really high scores. But for most people, it felt like 220 or 230 was a pretty good game. I bowled my first squad and kind of got caught with balls that were too shiny that uh, went too far down lane, and that made it pretty hard for me to carry the 10 pin and made it pretty hard for me to avoid splits. So. First squad didn't really work out, but I was able to re-enter and I put a lot more surface on my Proton Physics and my Zen Master and that made them pick up much earlier, smoothed out my reaction and allowed me to, to get around the urethane carry down a little bit uh, easier. My second squad was pretty good. I also got quite a few lucky breaks which honestly is kind of fitting in a tournament named Lucky Larsen, so I'm not going to complain about that. I did make a 2-4-10 in the last game, which was pretty huge, because if I don't make that one, I'm kind of on the edge of the cut rather than being safely in the cut. So that allowed me to take Saturday off and kind of just make a game plan for the finals on Sunday. Finals on Sunday, first step was uh, five games cut off half the field. I got off to a decent start, shot 260 with my Proton Physics game three, which put me quite a bit inside the cut. And then I went to lanes one and two, which seems to be a tricky pair and that bowling center. And it was for me, I was a little bit fortunate to get through with 190 on that pair, having to move much further left on the left lane, keeping a tighter line to the pocket while I had to move right on the right lane. So just a, a pretty tricky pair and luckily I could afford having a little bit of a, of a worse game there but managed to make it to the next round pretty easily. Next round was five games again and this time cut to the top 16. I got off to a good start with Proton Physics and kind of just grinded my way through there. All actually really solid, had again some good breaks, had a few Brooklyn strikes but gotta take those and again Gotta take him in a tournament named Lucky Larsen. So, <laughs> uh, I actually qualified second in that step, which meant that in the top 16, I had to bowl Martin Larsen. And uh, it was quite an interesting match. Uh, best of three on the leftovers from what we just bowled on, so on the burn. And we bowled on lanes 13 and 14. I think I bowled on that pair early in the block in game two, I think. I think Martin bowled in on that pair too at some point. So, but that's that's just how it goes. But that pair was, was a little bit tricky and in practice, I actually ended up moving left on the right lane with a, a shinier Sen, a little bit of surface on the Sen. And then on the left lane, I had to put a fresh 500 on my Sen Master playing further right to make it react. It was just super, super tight on the left lane. And Martin kind of struggled too. I was able to win game one pretty easily. Uh, I think I had to front six that game. So um, game one went to me. Game two, it looked like I was in full control. Then Martin made a ball change, tripped a two pin, but Austin of course, on the left lane. And then threw five absolutely amazing shots to end up actually winning that, that second game. I had a chance in the 10th frame, I needed a strike. I just threw it a little bit firm and um, yeah, tied 1-1. Last game, it was me that was the luckiest last one. I got a couple breaks off and threw a lot of good shots. Martin uh, made a late run, but I needed a strike in the 10th frame to win and I was able to get it. So 
won the match against Martin 2-1. He bowled a, a really good match with uh, not very good ball reaction for a, a lot of the match. So that was a good job for him to actually uh, get good results out of what he, he had to work with. Top 8, best of 5 this time on the fresh. And I was bowling Kevin Lindblad from Sweden, a very powerful left left-handed uh, two-hander. And uh, I kind of went into that thinking I need to I need to set up the lanes pretty well because I need to bowl some big scores. And I shot 250 game one and he shot a low game, uh, missed a couple spares and it was kind of weird because I, I had the feeling uh, after a couple games in, in the match that either he was going to strike a whole bunch and beat me by just simply outstriking me. But if he didn't strike, he was probably going to open at some point. And that's kind of what happened. He bowled a couple big games to win games two and games four against me. And then the other games, he kind of ran into a little bit of issues with, with striking and that led to some opens. And I was able to, to take the last game when he opened in the second frame and then left the split in the ninth. He made the split in the ninth uh, to force me to to spare in the 10th, but I was able to throw a strike. So tricky match, but uh, I was able to grind my way through it. Shot it was very consistent uh, every game between 220 and 250, where Kevin was a little more up and down, but really cool, exciting match and uh, managed to make it into the top four. And the top four is low man out. And it was Oscar Palama, Matthias Angadale from Colin from my team and James Blomgren slash Gruffman. So uh, two two-handers, a lefty and me, and I was the only one throwing reactive balls. So first game, Matthias ran away. Oscu got a couple good breaks early on in the match and then struck a bunch to run away. And me and James kind of, I think we were within a pin of each other. I split early on 4-9, but made it to be close. But it was, we both of us struggled with striking. I would 10 pin, he would 7 pin, I would strike, he would strike, I would 10 pin, he would 7 pin. So it was very, very close until we got to, uh, to the end of the game where he went high twice. He made a 6-8 split in the 10th to force me to spare in the 10th and I was able to do that. So very very close uh, match and i really wasn't expecting uh, james to only shoot 210 he had a great look all tournament so kind of feel a little fortunate to make it through through that round game two oscu's urofane ball started seeing some transition and he had to make some moves and never really did what he what he wanted it to do again i grinded through matthias grinded through and we were able to make it into the title match oscu ball a really good tournament really nice to see him back close towards the top and just he ran into some transition in in that um, second game there a title match against Matthias against one of the teammates always cool to bowl a teammate for a big title and um, Matthias was throwing urethane I was throwing at that point I just switched to my Zen master on the left lane and my, uh, uh, and proton physics on the right lane and I was thinking if I should switch to the Zen Master on the right lane, but decided to stay with the Proton for the first shot and had to manipulate it a little bit. And I just, I threw a bad shot because I felt like I had to do too much with my hand to make it strike. And I should have switched balls there because I got off to a little slower start than Matthias with strike, spare, spare. He got off to with double. So, had I switched balls there, maybe I could have gotten off to a little quicker start and, and put some more pressure on him early on. But either way, Matthias left the four pin in the fourth frame, missed it. At that point, we were even. And then he left a big split in the fifth and uh, made it. So very up and down couple frames there where it looked like I was going to get a big opening with two opens. Then he makes one of them. And yeah, so I switched to the Zen Master on the right lane throw a really good shot and leave a stone eight. So not so lucky last on that one. But then I get a little bit of a good break on the left lane for a strike. And then both me and Matthias kind of start striking. He makes the, the right move with his urethane ball after being a little 
go offline a couple frames there. And in the in the sixth frame on the right lane, I go high flush for a strike. So when I get up on, on the, in the eighth frame, I feel like I have to make a little bit of a move, but not too much. And I make a little move, I move one board left and I throw a pretty good shot. Speed was pretty good and the direction was pretty good. But instead of getting my hand a little bit around it, I got it a little more up the back of it, which made it roll a little more forward. And it didn't quite get the entry angle into the pin. So I left a 10 pin. And unfortunately, that 10 pin meant that Matthias had a chance to go up in the ninth and 10th frame and strike three times to shut me out. And he threw three really good shots to do just that and kind of sucks. You always, when you get that close, you always want to win. But I bowled a pretty good game. Matthias bowled a pretty good game. It was a really good, exciting match and uh, happy to see him win. Obviously, I would have liked to win, but finishing second isn't so bad. It's still a pretty good tournament. And um, yeah, being there and watching him him win is uh, it's pretty good, pretty fun. So. Congrats to Matthias, and um, yeah, a couple really nice weeks, second in Odense, uh, second in Sweden. Really, really nice to be able to compete with, um, to, to get the belief for myself and prove to myself that I can compete with the two-handers, the lefties, the, all the guys throwing urethane, and that I'm able to grind through and, and actually beat them. Uh, so. Really nice, nice couple weeks for, for me. And yeah, got to get back and, and work a little bit harder to hopefully climb one more step on that ladder. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and like this video, comment if you have any questions. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.